first thing people notice about Middlebury's new biomass plant is that it's in the center of campus and has a soaring glass facade. From the outside, you can easily look in and get a sense of what's happening, and that's a really important aspect of this building. We want everyone to be aware that something new and exciting and progressive is happening here. We'll receive two to three loads of chips per day during full operation. The chips all come from within a 75 mile radius on a live bed truck that dumps them into the storage container at the end of the building. The chips can be from any kind of wood, but they need to be a certain size, ideally around two inches square, and very importantly, they must have a moisture content that is no more than 50%. As the boiler needs more chips, it calls to the chip bunker, which has a mechanical wedge floor that moves back and forth, sending chips onto the first of two conveyor belts. The first conveyor sends chips into a sorter. Chips that are the right size drop onto the conveyor, while chips that are too big are sent through a grinder to be shredded again. Now the chips are ready for a ride into the gasifier. They travel up the green conveyor and across the gray conveyor, then drop into an airlock separator, which keeps the air pressure inside lower than outside. Next, the chips are distributed by four different augers and fed into the gasifier box and are ready to create energy. As the gasification process begins, the chips are heated to a very high temperature with very low oxygen until they smolder and emit wood gas. On the backside of the boiler, oxygen is added and the gas ignites, creating intense heat over 1100 degrees Fahrenheit. Inside the boiler, water circulates through iron tubes and is turned to steam. The steam is sent throughout the campus for heating, cooling, hot water, and cooking. The steam also turns turbines to generate electricity for the campus. Approximately 20% of the college's annual electricity is generated at the college's heating plant. After the fire, the ash drops to the bottom of the gasifier and is carried up another conveyor and dropped in the ash dumpster. The ash is then given to a local fertilizer company to be used as a soil amendment on agricultural lands. The fire also produces particulates, which must be cleaned from the exhaust stream. The exhaust travels through the ductwork and into a piece of equipment called a cyclone separator. As the exhaust spins in the separator, the heavy particles go to the outside and drop into the ash conveyor. The exhaust then goes into a heat exchanger, which extracts the heat from the exhaust and preheats water going to the boiler, increasing the energy efficiency of the process. Then the exhaust goes through the bag house and is forced through a series of filters that are rated at 99.7% efficiency for removing particulates. The exhaust comes out the other end of the bag house and leaves the building through the smokestack. When it comes out the stack, the largest emission is water vapor. The biomass project is more than a power plant. From the start, it's been a laboratory for students to research energy issues, develop planning skills, and join with our community to create a better energy future.